at noon, a major milestone today in Miami. Today, historical markers were placed at Lemon City Cemetery, and local 10 News reporter Leanne Morahone was there for this big moment, historic moment. She joins us live. Leanne? Christy and Janice, most of the people that were buried here were actually the ones responsible for building the foundations of the city of Miami. Today, this once forgotten cemetery was now marked permanently with a beautiful marker. Ten years after the discovery of human remains here, historical markers are unveiled at the site of the Lemon City Cemetery. Beautiful. Local historian Dr. Enid Pinckney and Miami Mayor Francis Suarez stand together to celebrate the milestone. And these markers which commemorate their lives act as a remembrance of the magnificence of the lives that they led and the significance of the Bahamian community and the African American community in our city. In April 2009, construction began on the Village Carver Apartments, a low-income housing development off of Northwest 71st Street near 4th Avenue. While digging the land, workers found bones to the surprise of the city, which had no idea the land was once a cemetery. What we are trying to do is transmit history. Lemon City Cemetery dates back to the 1900s. 525 people were buried here, most of whom were black Americans or of Bahamian descent. I'm very happy with it. I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. Bernita White says her grandfather, John Clark, was buried at Lemon City Cemetery. I didn't know him, but from what my mother had told me about him, he was, uh, he was a very quiet man from what I understand. And Dr. Pickney says she's had additional conversations with City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez and that he's agreed to add three more markers to three historically black communities. These include Nazareth, Knightsville and Bonestown. In the Lemon City area of Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.